Welcome to a day in my self-isolation. It's reminding me of last year. I think last year was actually even easier because, you know, mentally you knew everybody was in the same situation as you, so you didn't feel quite alone. You knew every what you were feeling, everybody was feeling as well. Now it's like you're watching everybody like having fun outside and you're in safe and you're in self-isolation, so it's just making you feel like Bleh. Before I begin, I have a I have a question, and this question is specifically geared to my married girls. So if you're married, listen up. I need your answer on this. I need to know that it's normal, <laughs> or that I'm not crazy. So basically, this is day eight. Okay, day eight of my self isolation, and self isolation not only like in the house, like I'm separated from my husband, and. <clears throat> Let's just say it hasn't been doing the best for my anxiety. We'll get to that in a bit later on. I do want to talk about my anxiety because last time I mentioned it, a lot of you guys were like, please talk about anxiety, how you deal with it, etc, etc. So I want to get into that. But my question is to my married girls, is it normal to be so attached to your husband? Maybe I'm not even phrasing it, to be overly attached to your husband. And I'm just so used to like, during the night when I'm having panic attacks or anxiety attacks I and Tarek is you know snoring into dreamland I like to like touch his pulse feel his pulse just like his heartbeat makes my heartbeat calm so the fact that I can't do that just it's driving me nuts I've come to realize like I'm too dependent and too overly attached to Tarek is that normal after marriage let me know in the comment section below Oh, so I'm so bored at home, I thought, why not just do my makeup for no apparent reason, just to practice, just for fun. I've been watching so many YouTube videos of eyeshadows, especially my eyeshadow. Like, I think, alhamdulillah, so far, I've gotten my base spot on, blend eyeshadows and mix eyeshadows, you know what I mean? So today we're going to use this beautiful palette from Diego Dalla Palma. It's... It's like the MAC of Italy, basically it's an Italian brand. Let's get right into it. I also have this palette by Morphe. It's this three toned, like smoky eye eyeshadow palette. I bought it last year and I've never used it. I've swatched it so many times, but I've never had the courage to use it because black. It's so hard to blend black. It's such a shame. I have this Bo Too Faced Bond This Way foundation, which I got into in PR. It's in the shade Warm Sand, but it's so dark on me. It's so dark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two. This is the e.l.f. in the shade Cashew. It is my color, but I'm just gonna see how it looks if I mix these two together. Oh, an update on how Tariq is feeling. I didn't even tell you guys. So I'm still waiting for my results for my PCR test. Uh, Tarek is feeling much, much better. He's coughing a lot though. I was a bit worried because he says he has trouble breathing. So we just kept monitoring his lungs with the oximeter. But however, Alhamdulillah, he's doing so much better than he was like in the beginning of the days. I'm gonna start with the eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit Cabral. I took my nail polish off by the way. It was annoying me so bad. I haven't picked up the e.l.f. camel concealer in so long so ah yeah thank you it's all over the carpet now I'm gonna start by packing on this color I'm literally following like those tutorials that I've been watching for the past three days uh, what they've been doing and how they've been like packing on eyeshadows I'm gonna take the lighter shade I think the brown Okay, it doesn't look so bad. I can never get my glitter more pigmented. I don't know why. It's time for foundation. I really need to get one of those plate mixtures, mixed mixing things. I hope it gives me the right shade because it's the first time I'm mixing these two foundations. We shall see. Guys, I have never searched for flights more than I have searched for them in the past freaking eight days. Ah, I'm craving for a flight destination holiday. Can you believe that Tarek and I have never been on a flight together? How weird is that? It bothers me that we haven't, to be honest. Like, how can we be married 
and not have been on a flight together it doesn't make sense hmm the shade is not so bad actually it's not so bad the shade i have for the elf is too yellow for me i've noticed which is why i've kind of like stopped using it I think it's too much. I think I overdid it. I think I overdid it. I think I overdid it. Um, I'm actually really liking this. I think. Eyeliner done. Look how lashes make a difference, guys. For lipstick, I'm thinking of using this Sigma Beauty Infinity Point lipstick in the shade Epiphany. Ooh, I like the shade. I have never used it. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Let's put it all together with some setting spray. I don't even know why I'm putting setting spray. I ain't even leaving the house. After doing the makeup, this is how it looks. It's a complete mess. I am now in the kitchen, guys, and I have been craving, proper craving. And no, I'm not pregnant before anybody even says in the comment section, craving is a form of pregnancy because I've gotten that and I got so mad. Um, I've been craving tuna cutlets. I did share the full recipe of it here in this video it'll come on the screen so you can watch how to make them but oh my gosh they're the most amazing snack to have in your kitchen in your fridge in your freezer so I'm making a big bunch so that I can freeze some of it and just have it when I want I don't know if I should turn the snack tuna cutlets into a full-on meal because I am hungry so I'm thinking maybe I should add on some chips I generally used to think that I'm gonna be that wife that when their husband comes back home from work this is how they're gonna find me I'm gonna be all dolled up waiting for his arrival with food in my hand ready to feed him honey wear now that I'm actually married put makeup maybe once or twice a week sometimes not for a good two three weeks of course i do keep myself presented i always smell good i'm always clean and fresh and everything but i'm not always dolled up like this nobody has the time served look at how crispy and delicious that tuna cutlets looks like there is more in the kitchen in case i want to have some let me put you guys down mm. cravings satisfied i'm having it with chili yeah quad you This is the best snack ever. It does take a little bit of time to make it, but then if you've made it in bulk, oh my God, it's such a lifesaver to have in the freezer. I ended up finishing my food because I was just so hungry. I couldn't concentrate on talking to you guys. <clears throat> I'm really not feeling too good, to be honest. I don't know why. When it reaches like the evening, my fever just shoots up. <sighs> I, I'm still waiting for my results for my PCR test. I did the test to see if I have COVID. My fever, every time I finish cooking, I'm exhausted and my fever just 
it goes high okay so i think it was on my instagram where i had mentioned something about me going through anxiety and i got so many dms and comments on my uh, on my instagram telling me to talk about it so i thought youtube would be the best way for me to communicate this by no means am i a health specialist or anything like that i am simply sharing my own experiences and what i try to do it may not work for you every day i learn something new so my anxiety can kick in like anytime anywhere i have these mini panic attacks or like anxiety attacks at random times of the day you'll see me like rocking a lot of the times i like like i rock like when my anxiety is running through my brain see me rocking and the rocking is me it's now up to my brain like it's it's working and it's that bicycle is hitting the road my brain will not stop thinking i will overthink something and overthink it and overthink it and then it'll just make me paralyzed i will not be able to do anything for the day for two days and it really sometimes affects like my productivity which i really hate so in different times i deal with it in different ways for example if i'm if a, an anxiety attack comes through like social media and it's at night or it's in the evening or something like that i like to distract myself because your mind my mind will run a hundred miles per hour and so for me to slow it down i tend to like to distract it and i distract it by watching friends the the tv show friends oh my god it has done wonders for me so i will make myself a nice cup of tea or some comfort food i'll get into bed i will put on friends and i will just watch episode after episode after episode another thing i really like to do is talk to family i'm so so grateful that i have an incredibly amazing support system my dad my mom my sisters i can call any of them at any time and we'll just talk about anything about business about whatever it is and i'll just forget whatever i'm going through so having a good support system is super crucial my husband also plays a huge huge part of it a huge part of it like i mentioned earlier if i'm going through an attack at night Tariq always sleeps first by the way mashallah he puts his head down two seconds he's snoring he's sleeping and in dreamland i will toss and turn in the bed for at least four or five hours until i finally can get some sleep so when i'm going through like a pan an anxiety attack and he is like there i like to like hold his hand or put my hand on his chest like just to feel his heartbeat i breathe i take i take breaths while feeling his heartbeat I tr i'm trying my best not to wake him up sometimes it's so bad and i just wake him up and he'll hug me and we'll just it'll calm me down getting a good hug from your spouse also is so helpful social media plays a big role in 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 everybody's like mental health do not look at social media and think somebody's life is completely perfect mine isn't i'm telling you now we're all going through something and we don't know everybody's life through what we see on social media prayer helps as well letting your heart out to allah just putting trust in god that things will go the way they're supposed to go and things will happen because they're supposed to happen like that for a reason uh, it's okay to be selfish sometimes don't always 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 be thinking about other people who gives a shit really once you're good you're healed you're in a better space give all the love that you want to give out to other people fill your cup first and then look into filling other people's cups with love and happiness if you guys would like us to talk more about these things let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to ask me questions that i i could answer in the next video or the video after that just leave everything you have in the description box below let's have a conversation about this i would love to know that it feels good sometimes to know that you know you're not alone everybody else is pretty much going through the same as you are so feel free to comment what you like in the comment section for now let's go and get this makeup off because i'm tired nothing feels better than taking your lashes off at the end of the day so to remove my makeup i recently discovered this amazing cleansing balm and i'm not sponsored but i saw it on tiktok and it's called juno and skin clean 10 cleansing balm i used to use the elemis to remove my makeup and i genuinely have used it like it's nearly finished but the price of this 
is like the price of this and look at the difference between the two i have been using it and it's the most amazing product to take your makeup off so all i do is i lather it on my hand like that it literally just melt your makeup look at that like it melts everything up really well. Next, I'm going to go in with the usual, which is the Paula's Choice Exfoliant, and then the Alpha Arbutin from Ordinary, and then Niacinamide from The Ordinary as well. Now I'm just going with the Vaseline uh, Lip Balm. I love this stuff. Now I'm going to be using this Radiant Serum from Caudalie. Put it before, before uh, moisturizing. Uh, I put it all over my hands because bring it down to my neck it really is moisturizing my skin feels so soft next i go in with the beauty elixir from quarterly as well and it is come it does come in a spray form it smells of like mint it's so it smells amazing it smells like i'm in some herbal shop then lastly i go in with the quarterly intense moisturizing cream now i really do love this cream however I think I'm going to be stopping to use it uh, at the moment. I'm just using it because I don't have another moisturizer. But I'm going to stop using it until winter because the texture of it is so thick and so moisturizing. And because I have oily skin and it's summer right now, I feel like it makes my skin a bit sticky in the summer. But during the winter when my skin is really dry, even though I have oily skin, my skin can get so dry during the winter, then this moisturizer will be wonders during the winter. For summer, I would prefer to go in with a more lightweight moisturizer. And that's pretty much it. My skin is definitely glowing. It's gonna call it a night. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's been like all over the place. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to click that like button down below it just helps me know that you guys want me to do more of these type of videos etc etc like you enjoy my vlogs so click that like also keep making dua for us inshallah quick recovery as you can see my voice has been off the whole video anyways bye guys <laughs>